Yo. Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. I'm your host, Jose Rocks. Today we have another episode of Journey Through VGC. The current format we in is Regulation D. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. All right, guys. So this is going to be the final video with this team. Um, this is not a second, another breakdown. I just wanted to uh, take a couple moments to apologize for um, this video that I'm posting. And not because I'm posting it, but because my settings uh, recently got reset on my uh, Streamlabs. And I was, you know, recreating them and I had to, you know, redo my borders and my background and things like that, as well as the sounds. And I did not realize I did some testing, but I actually used like another window uh, for the video. And I didn't realize that that window, the volume was really loud as far as the game volume. So I didn't under I didn't realize that until I went back to watch my video after I finished recording and the sound was really loud. But I still want to post this video because it shows my uh, my undefeated streak to uh, Master Ball. And I felt like the games are really good, but you really can't hear me that well over the game sound. So I do want to apologize about that. It is fixed and my next video coming out, um, the audio will be uh, back to normal. But, you know, with the settings just randomly resetting, I didn't do it myself. I'm not sure how it did it, but it did make it so that the game volume was a little loud. So you can hear me a little bit, but the volume of the game is just a little bit over me. So it's not really clear. But I do I do appreciate you all still coming out to watch if you're still going to watch through and just enjoy some of the gameplay, even if you can't hear me that well, because some of these games are really incredible. And I really showcase, you know, how powerful this team really can be and like a lot of different strategies that this team can use. And I literally used every single Pokemon. Every single Pokemon on this team contributed uh, to a win today. So uh, let's go ahead and get into these battles. And again, I appreciate you guys for continuing to watch through. New season has started. Similar team. Um, three of the same Pokemon except mine is extra for darkness and most likely extra for water. And teams like this. And both have the Dingo, Rillaboom, US Boom Snow, Tornades, and Flutter. So his team aims to go fast, right? So I think that my Ferrigraph is good. What does he really have to do with? He doesn't have any dark type. not want to click make it rain so if he doesn't leave Urshifu like my Godango like, I mean his the Godango pin is just a 2 right my heat train looks good here I think I like Urshifu little boom not too good let's get into the flood here actually a little more decent actually. So I don't really like it it's between these two. I think I'm gonna go with Urshifu because I'm gonna grass tear a heat train to help me deal with this Urshifu. The Willabone could be good here. It's a toss up between Willabone and the Urshifu. I could drop Godango. Lead Urshifu would bring Rillaboom and he trying in the back. The fake out is good. But we'll see. I think I like what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I figured he would leave this. But does he go for Tailwind is the question. I'm gonna see 
Chipping everything down, getting everything in range of I think this game would have been over when I was terrible, because they wouldn't have finished it. Even if I got quick on it, I just it out. It's kind of under stage on terror, so it's like. Get, well, he doesn't have, he can't use it. Huh? Rigor after he's a 
Boy Ref is so good here. He's so much better than that. He hasn't been able to target you. Tornadus hitting it with Bleak Wind, he really couldn't do good damage to it quickly enough, right? Like the U turn wasn't doing much, plus the leftovers in his own grassy terrain. Like, uh, grassy terrain plus leftovers is so good on each one. That's what we have it on our team as well. I really do like playing the hyper offense teams because they can't. What they want to do is click tailwind and just sweep you, but they can't because you got further up, right? They can't fake it out and they're afraid to go tailwind. So that's why the, the Godengo is good, is really good next to the, um, the Frigger Eye because of the choice stock, right? Because they don't want to click tailwind, so you outspeed a lot of things. It's, it's just a really good strategy. I really like that for this team. But let's get into the next game. So another hyper offense team. I think that's another Earth Shifu Water and Tornadus with Rain Dance. He has Dragon and Chim Power. So Fulgraph kind of shuts that down too. So I kind of want to go Fulgraph again. And he leaves anything besides the Earth Shifu and Mango Dango. So I can go with that again. Start in the trick room. Uh, I know that's Rain Dance or Shifu, but he trained. Wait, does it look good? I don't have Earth Power. The Willow Bone kind of gets walled by an Arcanine. Well, I can hit it with Stump Potential, but it can intimidate me. Give me a Flare Blitz. I definitely think Earth is good here too. Uh, it's between these three. I think he trans is still good with the grass too. The only thing it really can't beat is the Dragonite, but I have other Pokemon that beat Dragonite. Tornadus probably always comes out and leave him, but never clicks uh, Tailwind in front of him. Like, Tornadus is never going to click Tailwind in front of him. It just makes no point. Right? Definitely be a 
Arcanine has to be threatened by a potential Earth power here, right? So he should want to switch. So I'm just gonna double the tornadoes. So I'm shocked that he didn't respect it. Uh, Tornadoes goes for a rainy day too. I'm gonna psychic here. Alright, it would have been perfect if I could have KO'd you know, tornadoes last That's actually not good because my little mango is coming out. Stall out our own trick room, then that one's out. Then the Vanguard can also be able to do that. And I haven't used my Terra, so I can use Terra to get it. Like, tornadoes, you know, it can't 
too much into this. He still throws a quick tail in the face. I, I guess. <laughs> His Arcanine was really actually, like, defensively, it was good into my team since I didn't have uh, Urshifu out at the time and I didn't have Earth Power on Heatran. But had I had Earth Power on Heatran, this game would have just, uh, it would have ended a lot quicker. So I would just one shot Arcanine and then I could just pretty much just heat wave through Urshifu. His team, even with the rain up, it's still doing a lot to change out. Alright, so we have Thunders, um, which can't really do much until my team with the Rivera. We have Annihilate. Annihilate is a pretty good Rillaboom, Arcanine, So he has, this is kind of, sort of balanced team. And he has a firewater dash core. And he has like the steel type, ghost type, and flying type. Which are all really good uh, defensive types. I don't want to bring it because he has two defined moves, right? And I don't want to just give him like one plus one. So Gyarados is off the table. Furgarath, does he have trip on? He doesn't. But it does stop the Thunder Wave and stuff from being Thunder Wave. But he really can't Thunder Wave these two. It's only he trying to really buy these Thunder Wave. I think Grass Terry he trying to do it. I think I'll leave extra food, little boom, he trained, but then I I think I'll leave further out because it doesn't offer me much offense. I mean, I guess it's offensively good into an island if it doesn't care. But that's really it, right? And then I don't like how you know, weak it is into Assault this Arcanine. I think Wicked Blow plus Fake Out turn one is pretty good. Man, the switch on the right. So we break both of these with one hit KO. Right? I think Arcanine switches into a zoom roll. And King Gambit Terrors. I want to read that. I really don't I mean, What's King Gambit really doing? So King Gambit switches. I'm pretty sure that's a zone. Maybe Arcanine is good. Ooh! Alright, does he outspeed me? Because I could have just faked out him. Ooh, that's perfect! So now we get a. It's minus one, but it's still Rexy Terrain Power. Super effective. Woodhammer into it. Perfect. That's actually perfect that he targeted that slot. And we didn't get burnt either. Oh, nice! That is beautiful. We removed like, one of his the bigger threats to our team. I mean, it's not really so good, but we resist um, both of my Earth attacks. And then he trained, unless our Terra is not too good to it. There's his bullet. Yeah, there's his so both of these kind of is good for each other, right? I think this is a good slot to get in the angle. So I'm gonna protect here. Gonna protect. And then try to U-turn. Switch out. I'm 
fun it stays in. That turn one is horrible. Yeah, he gets this turn right though. That was a really good turn. Right? So he has second punch. Right? goes for a Kowtow Cleave onto Urshifu, which will be a crazy read. And then I'm faster than he's stumping tension. I'm not going to fight again. Yeah, that was a good chance for him to get so <laughs> yeah, Frigraph would have been good here to stop the Cleave. Sure both are Pokemon because they then go out spit without the choice card. So that means that um Earth is out too. Uh, he did move before my entry. something short because I just make sure that
opponent can't go for second place because he lost one of I think he might have should have locked in the second place. But I guess he felt like he was going to be a good one. I don't scarf that I gave him. So I, I kind of played this game stuff out for me. It kind of got scary after my good turn one. But the source dance was like my only opportunity for this game. So the grass tail is just to carry it for me. But I don't even think about this. Nice. So we continue to be undefeated. With this team, uh, stemming from last season when we um, were playing on the higher part of the ladder with this team, this team is really strong, man. Let's keep pushing. See how many goals we can do. Uh, more games we can win. Rillaboom could remove terrain, but he doesn't have side spin here, so I don't know if terrain is really that effective for him. He could have side shock on the floor. I would leave you open here, but I don't want to get the sash broken in the
Burnt is terrible. We're gonna psychic is doing a lot. I didn't, I didn't think Ultra Lone was supposed to defense with him. I didn't even take a look at his stats. He's doing more than I thought he would. That's just like this. Oh, that's what And his terror. As, and what did it cost? Um, about 80% of your health. So Didi does. Uh, kind of annoying here. This is 
you go to poison to it. Burns. Ah, I did try and do that. I can't do anything. That burn is so bad. I can't double protect. I have to protect the Urshifu. Oh, yeah. The best place is to try to pull it out. That's good for us, the tripping's up. And your boost energy, so that means you're not bulky. And your speed. Perfect. So the taunt was perfect because indeed you can't follow me here, right? Wicked Blow, knock out you, guys and boom's not doing anything. I don't think he has psychic, right? Because he had. Yep, he doesn't have psychic. Okay, okay. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Another dazzling KO, but I can't believe it. Yeah, Ndidi went before, so we out here. Now, this Ndidi was kind of annoying, man. Let's go. Let's go. Continue to be undefeated with this team. Undefeated Street International. Let's go. Man, if you guys like the way I pulled this comeback net, please drop a like for me. You know, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Because these are some good matches, man. This is good content. I can't believe I came back from that. Even though I, I played turn one pretty well, indeed, getting a trip on was like detrimental for me. But the Poison Terror saved us, man. And indeed, not having Psychic and only Gleam was kind of uh, game defining. But I'm pretty sure it's Follow Me, then Prison, and Trick on me. Dazzling. And most of DDs are not usually running in prison, they usually have like psychic there. And psychic would have ruined them, right? But he didn't have it. And he never did click follow me though. I don't believe he did. He may, he may have turned one, I'm not sure. No, he went for in prison so he, never, he never revealed follow me. But I'm pretty sure if he had psychic, he would have just clicked it there because I'm probably the cause of the dazzling. So the taunt was perfect because we, because of the taunt, we were able to taunt the Ndidi so it couldn't follow me. And now we were able to just knock out his Futterman, right? Like, because it was too fast to do a trick room. So his trick room ended up hurting him only because we were able to one shot uh, the, uh, the Futterman. And if you guys are wondering why even with Poison Terror, why Dazzling Gleam still did so much, about 40% to Earth Shifting, or about 40 damage when I was about around 65 HP, was because I had to use a close combat into the Heatran, which dropped my defense right, which allowed Dazzling to hit a little bit harder. But, um, alright, so uh, let's get into one final game. Uh, it's going to be our first game of Master Ball for this new season. Final game with this team, and ooh, we have a trap. This could be Paris trap with Doctor Tail and Butterman. He has Urshifu, Arcanine, Willowboom, and Chima. Double fire types. But Dango is always good in the Paris trap.
think I'm gonna blow up the bin though. Even Willaboom because it doesn't he has double fire and intimidate and we even Gyarados because Gyarados is kind of good into uh, his entire team pretty much but I don't know if it's too passive. <laughs> Get a free 
We didn't lose a single game with this team. Not even in practicing. That is incredible. This team is so good. You guys have to try this team. It is so strong. Like just the the free grab option and just stopping like offensive teams from being offensive is just incredible. My opponent was ranked super hot. Like he's ranked uh, 39. So he's, he's actually going for rank number one. And he just literally like he got the surprise KO on him. But then you know that's fine. But after that, he just really can do anything to the team, right? And I took the free KO on the Yu because if he switched it out, that was a KO on the tail. So I took that KO, and he didn't know that's so what right? Which is beautiful for me because now I was able to pressure his Flutterman with a Wicked Blow to KO it. And Psychic did enough chip to make sure that Wicked Blow KO even if it was a bulky right? And he really tried to get rid of the free graph, so I guess he can potentially like go for fake out. And that looked like it might have been choice specs for me too, because we did a lot of damage to the free graph. Uh, even with us being like really bulky, it still brought us down to like the red. So I'm pretty sure that was choice, choice specs. But, you know, his Urshifu underspeeding us was a little bit unfortunate, because we didn't get the KO before it broke our sash. But in the end, it worked out because he couldn't click Aqua Jet, Aqua Jet, so, and he couldn't click Fake Out. And like I said, his got to tell probably other two moves was Fake Out and Psychic. Which with Ferrigo up on the field, you can't fake out and with Psyche, with Urshifu being dark, you can't hit us with Psyche. Like, and the idea is I had Heat Train in the back. So that pretty much means that um, once I bought Heat Train out, I was able to 1v1 and got the tail, even the Urshifu in the back. So you know, we did our best and put us in a really good spot. We went 5 0 in this video, and we went, I believe we went 4 or 5 0 in the last video too. So we didn't lose a single game with this team, and now we're uh, ranked 2 and 22. Already in the new season, but this team is so strong, and I, um, I recommend you guys try it. But we're gonna get into a final review with this team, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. All right, getting into our final review. This team is so good, and we actually got to bring out the Poison Terror Urshifu in this episode, and it literally saved us from losing the game. Right? It was the perfect terror for that situation. I think Steel Terror could have done the job there too, but you know it got us to win, and I. Well, actually, still Terra wouldn't have done it though, because what we did was we Terra in the poison to take less damage from uh, Indeed, you guys in the game, and he trying went for a heat wave, so if we were still Terra, they actually wouldn't have gotten the job. So the only Terra that we could have went for that resisted the fairy and also didn't take super effective damage from, um, well, I guess Fire Terra could have worked there too, but that was the only two Terras. Now, I don't think you ever run a Fire Terra in this format. But this team is really strong. Like Gyarados really shuts down uh, Didi as well. And the Dodengo, you know, came out in the first game and surprised us with a lot of damage and that went down. It's really good. Like this team is so fun. Like I said, if I could change any one thing about this team, was uh, I do kind of feel like it does need the, the Earth Power on Heatran, but it's not required. Terra Blast and Substitute is really good, but maybe sub out Substitute for Earth Power. That can be like a little change that you can make to the team just to give you a little bit more offense. But Substitute can help in a lot of situations too when you're trying to stall things out, right? 
But other than that, the only change that I would recommend is changing Furgaf to Water Terror. Just so like you have something that does better into the Chibi Fetterman leaves. Or like the, uh, sometimes they still try to knock you out through the Rocky Helmet. And the Fairy Terror, a lot of them are predicting to go Fairy Terror, so it's not really perfect. I think the Water Terror might be a much better Terror for Furgaf. But outside of that, I think everything else is pretty much perfect on this team. This team is really strong. Glad that I was able to showcase a lot of the strategies using it. Um, I was able to bring every single Pokemon to um, one game or the other, and they all showed up. Um, Rillaboom came out this episode, Gyarados came out this episode, Frigograph came out this episode, Really Clutch, Urshifu came out, Romero came out, and Dream Team. So we're able to showcase every single Pokemon. But if you guys like this team, go ahead and try it. There's a rental code right up there at the top right for you, as well as if the rental code is listed down in the description below, and if you can't see that. As well as a Poke page for any people. If you play Showdown and you want to use this team to kind of climb the Showdown ladder, there's also a Poke page down in the description below for you. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces!